I think the biggest thing for me was just how much of a privilege it was to play for my country at like such a big world stage, you know, and the, the volleyball world was watching and we were there in Canada jerseys and that was a pretty proud moment for, for two weeks. So I'm happy about that. Um, I think about qualification in Japan, it was like a really stressful situation for us because we missed our really good opportunity in uh, January. And um, we worked a lot on, yeah, I guess the mental side of our game and we were prepared to, to play against tough opponents and we won the games that we needed to win. Um, and it was a huge celebration. Like it's, it was 24 years since Canada was in the Olympics. So um, to be a part of that group, to break that, uh, I don't know, that cycle, that, that drought was um, an honor. Yeah, I think Rudy touched on the qualification, which was obviously a long and stressful process with hosting in, in my hometown for the, the first chance there. Uh, we weren't fortunate there, but showed how much we could battle. We went to a t more difficult tournament and we were able to qualify and then we played well at the Olympics as well. But for me, it was everything they said was bang on, but also just the impact it had on volleyball in Canada, like not even volleyball fans people who just enjoy sports or enjoy the Olympics, mm. I think really found men's volleyball as the team sport they could rally behind and that was probably one of the most interesting things to see returning home. I guess ca whole of Canada was celebrating after the first game. Yeah, right? for sure. <laughs> could Big you North American rivalry there. Okay, what was it special for you because there, there's no hatred between the teams but uh, kind of rivalry? Yeah, I mean it's always big when Canada plays USA, I think in every sport across the board. So. For us, it was obviously pretty important. I think the media, and there was only a few uh, places covering volleyball in Canada, and then after that, there, you know, it was all over the place. So it, almost everyone found out about it. Did Did you meet somebody at, at the Olympics where you said, "Hey, I'm a big fan," or was really exciting for you? Well, one time we were walking back from uh, lunch, and Djokovic was training on the practice court right in front of our building. I mean, that was pretty crazy to see, like, such a famous you know, sports star, you know, and you're just leaning on a fence watching them. It was, it was pretty cool.